Why did I watch that? <laughs> so recently, a lot of people have been reacting to Ryan Crowley's devastating pec injury as the result of a super heavy incline bench press when he was being spotted by Larry Wheels. So this is obviously horrific for anybody to witness, but it's especially horrific for those who are super into fitness because a lot of us who are super into fitness, we've been injured and it oftentimes comes from our ego getting the best of us. And that's not just in regards to weightlifting that can come with any realm of fitness. You know, when your ego gets in the way, that's when problems come into play. Hey, that rhymed. And I am of course speaking from personal experience. Basically every single major setback I've experienced in my fitness came from ego lifting, came from doing low range rep maxes, like one rep maxes, two rep maxes, three rep maxes. And I used to be all about that kind of thing. I used to think that ego lifting was the way that you demonstrated that you were fit. And I, of course, have learned since then that there is so much more to being fit. And in general, I strongly discourage just about anybody from doing any sort of low range rep maxes. That will, of course, exclude anybody who's super into power lifting or strongman or anything along those lines. But in general, the average person has no business Business doing these, these super low range rep maxes. Again, basically any setback I've experienced has been the result of ego lifting. Like I've gotten a lot of tweaks and sometimes even legitimate injuries as the result of doing stupid things in the gym. But since then, I of course corrected in such a way as to where I've become obsessed with all the recovery bits and all of the warming up, the cooling down. I'm a big, big, big proponent for regular stretching and regular foam rolling. And along with that, I'm also a big proponent of very, very slow and controlled training, both on the concentric and the eccentric, because I believe that is the best way to prevent injury. This is the best way to really test your true strength. You're not cheating, you're not compensating, you're focusing on the muscle you're trying to train, you're raising it just right, and you're lowering it just right. Of course, it's always good to push yourself and challenge yourself, but not at the expense of your own well-being. Again, I'm very sorry this happened to Ryan. Hopefully he has a very speedy recovery and nothing like this ever happens to him again. And I also hope that people can take the right lessons from what happened to prevent injuries going forward.